Hello, I wanted to take today's video on Banana Frost to take a look at this disc, the new Eagle McMahon Rebirth. I literally just edited that video and heard that 10 times and I still barely remembered it. But it's his new, oh gosh, Prison Proton? Yes, Prison Proton MB. Because when we were out there, we actually film. we didn't really film that much, but I brought out some other MVs to mess around with. Um, but we ended up just playing the 18 hole battle. He threw these lefty and I was recording it and I thought that he was going to throw like a lefty hyzer kind of bringing it across his body, but he just like completely rotated, which probably the red would do it if he's doing it, but not the way that I would necessarily throw it. So I set up the shot as if I was throwing the hyzer and I just like, he was right in front of it the whole entire time. And they weren't the best shots, honestly. And then I threw them. And then you guys saw that at the end of that video, try to ace, but I want to take a look at like the differences between these guys, or at least just talk through them because yes, this is just an MB. Also, it makes sense that Eagle got an MB because MB is so popular, but like there is a point where you get like mold fatigue. I noticed that when I ran zones last year, cause I did uh, banana club zones with Broderick, which I'll show you. We have some right here of the banana club ones, which are just that stamp. And then I also later ran Shattered Van ESP zones because zones, like they're a popular mold. Everyone throws zones. I was like, hey, zones are gonna sell. But I think there's like zone fatigue. There's too many different plastics of zones. There's too many different custom stamps of zones. And so it just ended up being that I, it was just too much. And I think that can be the same way with Envy's. Luckily, I don't think that MVP has that same exact problem that like Discraft does because MVP is just so freaking popular all the time. And so I don't imagine, honestly, these are going to come out the 16th of February. I don't think that these are going to really stay on the shelves for that long. But I don't know if there's going to be a lot more MVs run through Eagle, through Simon, whoever. I don't really know. Um, but it was fun to talk with Eagle about the MV, which we'll get to in a second, especially as compared to the proxy. But I brought out these five, and I did throw them and, like, noted some differences between them, but didn't really talk about it too much. So what I have here are a just regular Proton MV, not a Prison Proton MV. This is a run where it is pretty flat, but um, not quite, like, flat, flat. It's, like, weird because this is super flat, but then you get one of these, which is the Eclipse 2.0 ones. And for some reason, oh, yeah, you can, you, you can almost see a difference. Let me see if I can zoom in the camera enough so you guys can see, get my face out of the way. You can see, like, this has, like, it gets to the top of the overmold and then a little bit of a bump and then phew, flat. Whereas here, it gets to the top of the overmold and then just flat across. So a little bump, flat, little bump, flat. And Eagle was saying that he's thrown Proton MVs, which he didn't know if this was one of them, which is just like ridiculously overstable. And I think, honestly, it probably comes down to that little thing right there. Maybe two ends of the spectrum, to be honest. Uh, because this Proton MV is a bomber MV for me. Like, this is one that... The MV is like a hybrid between putter and mid-range. I feel like I could comfortably get this out to about 350, probably comfortably 340. Like if I knew I had a hole that I had a high enough ceiling that I can just like rip something on this much Anheuser, just let it go on, glide on it, flatten out, come out of it, and not really move too much right to left, basically just be dead straight. That's, I would throw this MV for sure. Or what actually turned into this MV, um, but this one's even a little flippier. It's closer to proxy. This is a... Uh, prism plasma yeah plasma proton prism plasma which is like neutron maybe i don't really know neutron prism i really don't know that much about these plastics it's got like the metal flake rim but this one you guys saw me throw a lot during the actual season at the end of last year because it was just laser straight like almost like flip up just go straight and because it's MV, it has a little bit more of a finish or if you put on anheuser it just sits down flat instead of just turning over and like hitting the ground on an angle, you want it to hit it flat. And so um, I really love this MV. I'm not sure if I'm gonna be bagging MVs this year again. I still have to kind of figure out that slot. And a lot of that's gonna come down to figuring out my putter, which I have been starting, Putter Wars. And then I filmed a video, a trick shot video for Infinite's channel, which hopefully by the time this video is up, that video is up. I've sent it to Infinite like for approval and whatnot. Um, haven't heard anything back on it quite yet. But that um, that is, I did that and my forearms, my extensors, the top forearm muscles, are like killing me from some of those trick shots because I literally it was four hours in a row of just throw, 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 throw. And that's just fatiguing to any muscle group. Even if you, you know, I'm not throwing full power, but like that's just extra fatigue, especially because more touchy shots tend to rely more on springiness of tendons than musculature, I found. So like I can go out right now and just rip full power, but putting, touch shots, terrible. 
Um, that's just what happens. My shoulder was really sore. This is really sore, so I haven't putted too much. All that to say, I didn't really putt all that much. But um, I'm adding a couple putters to the putting wars. Not that that means anything to you because that will all be in a later video because I really just got to figure out what I need to putt with and just practice. So this started out very, very overstable, which is very similar to this MV. Now, the problem here is I'm throwing significantly more nose down and significantly harder than I was at the end of last uh, last season, um, probably by like five to seven miles an hour, maybe even closer to 10. I haven't tested myself with the tech disc in a long time. I'm planning on doing that for a video, probably actually tomorrow since it just snowed six inches last night. But these MVs are the most overstable MVs that I found, I think, out of the box. It's gonna be a tie between this and another one that I have here, but this is the Prism Plasma ones, especially the Shatter Van Run. I don't think I have any more. Where are all my MVs? Let me see. Um, yeah, these are all the MVs I have, or the ones that I showed you or intimated about, and then these ones. Um, another Proton MV here, and then a couple others that we'll get to, but they beat in. This one has gotten because it was in my bag for most of, um, this offseason. I put it in the bag, uh, to complement this guy because of how straight it had gotten, uh, and this one was, like, oh, like, basically an ESP zone, like a beat in ESP zone, like a jawbreaker zone, and so on backhand, I much prefer to throw this than a zone, um, for some reason, unless it's shorter... It's weird. Like the shorter distances, I'll throw the zone backhand. Longer distances, I'll throw this. Odd. But this is straight ish now. Still overstable, but probably just about as overstable, if not slightly less overstable than this one. Um, but it started out a good bit more overstable. So this uh, Proton Plasma, Plasma Proton, is going to be less overstable to start out with than the Prism Plasma, I found at least. But for these beat in relatively fast, so I don't know if this will beat in even faster because I also know my Protons beat in pretty fast as well. So um, I would say it's, if you have a flat proton, the flat proton is gonna be more overstable than this. But if you have a proton that's like this, where it's got that little bit of a shoulder and then gets flat, um, they're probably gonna be pretty similar to Eagle's Envies. These are gonna be very similar. The next are the, um, I don't have all the MVs, obviously. I don't even have a Neutron MV, to be honest with you. Um, I would love a soft Neutron MV, uh, but I don't have one. I wonder if that feels so good. Um, but these are the Electron Firm MVs. I actually picked these up for the Putter Wars, um, and I've been throwing them a little bit. Surprisingly, I'll give you a little spoiler, they got knocked out in the first round of the Putter Wars. I do have, like, one rebuttal that I can bring a disc back, and I don't know if it's going to be this, because just as it slows down, it just kind of glides on the hyzer instead of slowing down and going straight on the hyzer and pushing with like a little bit of fade. It just kind of goes a little bit more left because it does seem to be a little faster, like three, three and a half speed, very like for a putter. It just, they just want to go. And so I know people putt with them. They putt with them well, but I don't think it's going to be my putter for this year. Um, but these Electron Firms, they're very new. They look a little beat up just because they take beatings pretty fast. But these ones want to pop up a little bit more. They even have different numbers. They call them 3, 3, negative 1, 2. And I would say that this is going to definitely be more overstable than any electron that I've ever thrown. I've thrown electron softs. And I'm not thrown just typical electrons. And then the electron firms. Maybe I have to actually throw an electron. But they're all – these are all ones where – they like I could see them like wanting to stand up. Sometimes if I hit them just right, I can like pop them up. If I throw them flat, they'll like drift and maybe even turn. Um, whereas this one will just kind of stay, 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 and then finish. Maybe a tiny, tiny bit of drift, um, but never gonna turn. Never gonna think about turning. It's gonna kind of. This is basically your point and shoot envy. It's gonna hold whatever line you want for eighty percent of the flight and then finish a little bit. These ones will drift a little bit more on that line. And then I found that these ones want to be more overstable. Like. You put them on this line. I'm like, hey, I want you to just hold this uh, Anheuser. And it's like, ha, screw you, buddy. I'm just going to get the flat, and then I'm going to finish on you. Now they're getting to the point where they'll actually hold over, and they'll actually hold the, the mid-flight longer before finishing harder. Um, and they will finish pretty good if you give them time, like give them enough air to actually slow down. They'll finish more than these guys out of an Anheuser, but they take a lot longer to get to that point. It would make sense because that's how most other like discs that are beaten over stable discs react, and I think that this is the case. It just is hard because this has such a slowness threshold. Like, it can get so slow and still stay on his typical flight so there's this the last ones that was really loud are going to be these uh eclipse 2.0 ones this one was in the bag for a lot of last season um actually threw it into the water at a practice round at casey white open or maybe in the tournament um but these are flat this is very similar i found that the envies or the putters maybe because you just throw more they beat up so much faster than a lot of other mvp discs also could be the case that i don't bag any other mvp discs mvp discs which i think is the case i'm trying to remember i don't think I've bagged any other ones except for this. And then the proxy, which we'll chat about here in a second, which I have a couple of here. Um, but these uh, Eclipse 2.0 ones, they didn't 
So they're kind of in between uh, when they start out. They've all beaten in. This one now is actually, surprisingly, a little bit more of a stable, if not the exact same as this black prison plasma one. But this one is now like just going to hold a turn. And because it's flatter, I don't know what it is about it, but like it seems to be a little more understable. Like it just kind of holds over more. And instead of like, probably because it is flatter, it wants to move more right and then move back left, but it never has that move back left for me anymore. This one, which is again, the really flat uh, Eclipse 2.0 is very overstable. Like I can rip it really hard, throw it um, on Anheuser. It'll fight about, out of it and move left. This is the one that I chained out with in the video. I did notice, like you could see in those flights that it was more overstable. You could see that the Electron Firm was less overstable, but that probably takes like a, if you're like newer to disc golf or you like don't care how it does fly differently too much. Like as I, I review so many of this, I'm like, yes, this I could definitely tell is or is not as overstable. I'm not sure if that comes across as much on camera, but this guy, very overstable, but I would say that the ranking for like starting overstability, Prism Plasma starts the most overstable by far of any of them that I found. Then Eclipse 2.0. And then I would say it's gonna be a tie between the Proton ones, which would make sense. Like this is a Prism Proton. I don't know if this is more overstable than Sorry, flicking it off. I don't know if this is more stable than regular neutron ones or regular plasma, whatever, whatever the plastic is. I really don't know. Um, there's too many plastics at MVP. But uh, the protons are probably the same, and then the electrons. So I would say it is neutron, uh, is prism plasma, maybe neutron, and then the eclipse ones, and then the proton ones, and then the electron ones. Just based off of my experience, I'm not like an MV expert. But one of the interesting things I was talking with Eagle about was the proxy, actually. Um, I think it's kind of cool that, like, Eagle definitely seems to be the envy player. Simon definitely seems to be the proxy player. You can see that in their games. They're both, like, power players. And it, this is even reflected in what Simon was talking about as Eagle was coming. And he's like, yeah, like, we are both very far throwers. We are both very good disc golf. He didn't say it in this uneloquently. <laughs> but he's like, our games and our bags are so different. Like, they throw so many different things. Like, Simon is much more of a hyzer player. player. Um, Eagle definitely also a hyzer player, but he likes to force stuff on hyzers and just, like, punish it on a hyzer, whereas uh, Simon wants to finesse it slightly bit more. He does punish the disc a little bit. Um, but Simon is a proxy guy, neutron proxy. This, surprisingly, this um, R2, which I want an R2 Envy, because it might be even more overstable than, like, these ones, because the R2 plastic, something about this recycled neutron is just so ridiculously overstable. But then I have this neutron proxy, which... To me is going to be close to those uh, electron firm envies, maybe slightly more understable, probably the same out of the box, but it just feels slightly different, but like not that different to be completely honest, because the core, this middle part, the green thing here, the blue thing here is the exact same. It's only the overmold that changes on these. And I think it's the atom as well. The anode, one of those is also the same. I think it's axiom atom, axiom atom. It's probably the atom. That sounds more like an axiom disc, but now that I say that, is maybe it's the MVP. There's a disc that's in between these. Um, but it's just slightly, slightly different. This is just slightly rounder on the top part of the um, overmold. And then this one is just slightly blunter. And so I don't know why that makes this slightly more understable, but it also feels a little smaller in my hands. I would probably be someone to just go through MVs because I think this is what I was talking with the Eagle. You can find an MV that flies like any proxy. Like you can beat them in enough that they that they'll flip like a proxy, they'll fly like it. Maybe maybe not like exactly perfectly, but you'll be able to find all the stabilities, but you probably aren't gonna find the overstable end of proxies. Um, not that one is good or one is bad. Honestly, they f feel so similar that if you find a really nice proxy and a really nice envy that you like, just put them both in the bag. Sometimes you'll pull them out, you might not even be able to tell the difference. Like you probably will, but it's pretty freaking close. And so that was just one of the interesting uh, thoughts that we had had just in between while we were walking between holes, but yeah, his MVs are definitely sick. They're also an MV. So if you have a bunch of MVs and you don't need any more MVs or want any more MVs, there's not going to be anything like crazy special about this one. It's not going to be the beefiest MV you've ever thrown in your life. It's going to be very point and shoot with a little bit of finish. If you throw really hard, it's going to be overstable if you don't throw really hard. Um, and that's kind of what you want out of an MV, to be honest with you. I do think that like this stamp, like it just came together so well. And he had a second one that he was throwing around that I don't think I have on camera much, but it was blue on um, blue with blue main phoenix or bird whatever this bird is um and apparently that's gonna be like the rarer ones because fire burns hottest when it or burns blue when it burns hottest so that's pretty cool but yeah i don't know uh if this gave you anything but i figured 
I had some thoughts on it. It's a little bit ex post facto from the uh, video. I just actually posted that video, and I had some more thoughts about this MV and then throwing MVs and whether or not. I don't know if I'm going to bag or not this year. i got to figure that out. I love throwing a disc that I'm putting with, but obviously I putted with peers and I threw MVs last year, but it was MVs and peers. And so we'll have to see what ends up happening. I do think I want two-speed, but the MV's just so good. And I just like... It is such a good hybrid, and I don't know if I can throw other slower ones or other putters as far. I'll have to take it to a field because I also have so many MVs that it's just a good disc. It's just a good disc. That's all. I'm rambling now. See you for all things. Bye.